Hi, I'm with uh, Maria Dodovich, Brooklyn Soldier Dogs. Uh, as you know, my, my next book, Bloodline, deals with war dogs. Uh, my exposure from war dogs came from a UFO tour where I stumbled on working dogs in action. Uh, what gave you the, the inspiration to write some soldier dogs? Well, I actually grew up in a household where military dogs were really big. My dad was a soldier in the Air Force, and he saw how these dogs saved lives by day and comforted people at night. He was homesick at night because there was a dog right there in the corner. And so I grew up with that, and I knew one day when I was becoming a journalist with Ruby really CFA today, I was having the back of my mind, I'm going to write a book on these guys. And, and it did a lot of made happen last year, and I had a lot of preparation behind it, and I was able to just take that and go with it and tell the untold stories of I know from talking to some of the soldiers that they have a real deep bond between their the working dog and the animal. What was your exposure doing the research on this? The bond is like no other. I love my dog so much. We have a great bond with your dog. But they say that there is no bond like that of soldier and dog because they deploy together. They're together 24-7. Their lives depend on each other. The dog is there sniffing out explosives. And not only the handler play, but everyone behind the handler depends on that dog to really work well. And the handler has to know his dog really well. And the dog has to want to work for the handler. And the bond that they have where they're together in danger, that the dog will sleep in a foxhole or the dog will sleep in, in the bed. Sometimes it's the first time some dogs get to sleep in the bed or get on something soft. They're in a bunk bed and they're so happy. Work can be held, but for dogs, sometimes it's and the bond goes on. And, and handlers, even from Vietnam, they don't do the same without thinking of the dog. That's fantastic. I also heard that you were interviewed by John Stewart. What was that like? That was a lot of fun. Um, there was, he, what is he really like? He's actually, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's really Good nice. You know. Yeah, he's great, and he's a lot of fun. The show went by like that, and um, it was weird because I had a lot of fun doing the show. And afterward, as I was walking off to the producer's the green room, I realized I don't remember anything I just said. I had this weird amnesia, and it wasn't until I actually saw the show later that night that I thought, oh, yeah, that's what we talked about. There was one part that he whispered to me something at the end when the cameras were off. I still don't remember what it was. <laughs> too bad the mic was off. I always wanted to whisper it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Everybody, read Soldier Talks. It's fantastic.